What's up, Sagittarius? How's it going? I hope everybody is having a great week so far. This is going to be a timeless love reading. So you know my timeless readings. It's when you feel drawn to the title and the picture and the messages that are within the reading. Do take what resonates. Never force anything to fit. Um, but always watch your rising, your moon, and your Venus placement readings because there's going to be similar messages and there's going to be other messages you know, that grab your attention and feels like it's resonating with your situation. I'm going to apologize. I am getting over being sick, so my voice is not 100%. Um, but I do need to get these readings in because I was down for a couple days and I was sick during the holidays and I think I tried to rush it along and it hit me harder this time. So I do apologize for the way my voice sounds. Um, for those of you that are new, I'm grateful that you're here. My name is Sam. Welcome to my channel. And I'm giving away three free love readings for the month of January. So all I need you to do is become a subscriber to take part in the giveaways. And then leave a heart emoji in the comment section. Oh. At the end of each reading, at the end of each month, I'll remind you to check your notifications because those that participate in the giveaway, I will be randomly choosing three people and reaching out to you for the month of January. I feel February is going to also be um, a giveaway for love readings just because Valentine's Day falls within there. Sacred Journey and Memories did pop out. We'll see if they come out again. Possibly reminiscing over someone. Someone could be reminiscing over you, looking at old photos of you. But I feel a lot of wisdom within your journey. A lot of things that you've been through that taught you like major lessons. Even if it was a complete heartbreak that was hard for you to bounce back. It had a lot of wisdom. It made you stronger. All right, let's see. Or my Sagittarian spirit. Or my Sagittarians. Alright. Ego wants to pop out in the worst way. Solitude. Spending some time alone. And that's good to be in this energy. I mean, don't stay there for too long. But a lot of soul searching. When I see solitude, I think of the Four of Swords energy. With the Four of Swords energy, if you're open to it, you receive a lot of amazing messages from your spirit guides. Synchronicities, you know, frequency of numbers, repeating numbers. Um, it's like when you're in that time of solitude, self-evaluation and growth, you see a lot. It's like you almost awaken to the, all the, the support around you from the universe and your spirit sources. Time for you to go deep within yourself. Yeah, really self-nurture and love. Taking care of yourself, even through those hard times and breakups. Making sure you nourish yourself. You're what matters, Sagittarius. You may not feel it in the moment, but you are what matters. outcome so there is an outcome there is a conclusion there is going to be a resolution let's see where that falls though and memories did pop out at the bottom of the deck who are you thinking about Sagittarius judgment a lot of self-evaluating going on there again. Divinely orchestrated this resolution, this outcome. Let's see if it comes out. All right, spirit. Sagittarians energy towards love and romance. In the present. Page of Swords. Are you spying on someone with memories right here? Are you watching someone from afar? You could be using a dating app or, you know, dating online. 
Hear that candle sizzle? That's crazy. I've never had a candle do that. But all the other candles, I feel like were choking me out. And with me not feeling well, I didn't want to put, you know, light a candle that was going to. But I feel like you are watching someone. We have air energy there. All right, the person coming through, coming towards Sagittarius. Person coming towards Sagittarius. Ace of Cups. And look at this. The Hermit energy is popping out with Hanged Man. So I feel a pause between you and someone. It does not have to be an ex. Could be somebody that you dealt with briefly. A situation. You know? But I do feel that in this Hermit energy and this Hanged Man energy, realization of feelings for you. Definitely strong feelings that they have for you. And what is going to be the overall outcome spirit? Ten of Cups. Complete emotional fulfillment with this person. Ten of Cups and the Hierophant. Relationship. Long term. You are manifesting this. There is going to be action taken. There is going to be that resolution. Spirit is saying, in the interim, take care of yourself. You know, it's okay to self-evaluate. It's okay to soul search. Find that wisdom in the situations that, you know, ended, that didn't make sense, that left you feeling confused. Find wisdom within those situations. But make sure you are nourishing yourself because when this person reaches out, you want to make sure you're in your best energy also. Please clarify Sagittarius's energy as the Page of Swords. Yeah, I feel like you're missing this person. I also feel that dating and your love life has been, it's felt like an uphill battle. I feel like you've needed to set boundaries with people. And just wondering when is it going to be your time? All right, spirit, the person coming towards Sagittarius. Eight of Wands, communication of love, communication of feelings. And this is going to be a cosmic gift from the universe. Remember, judgment popped out also. I feel like it's divinely orchestrated. Huge shifting of the universe. All right, and the future spirit. Overall outcome, Ten of Cups and Hierophant. The Queen of Cups. Possibly um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, because I do have water energy here, but I also have fire and air. So do take what resonates. I don't have any earth showing up as of yet. Look at this. I really feel like someone is at a crossroads right now, wants to reach out, but is holding back. Wants this breakthrough of passion of feelings wants to balance out the scales I gotta say for some of you I'm almost picking up on long term like you might have been in a long term relationship with this person and have gone through a breakup but I feel that there is a chance to balance out these scales all right, let's see what else. All right, Spirit, please clarify. Sagittarius is reading. Let me get that. I fell on the floor. See, with the Tower and the Five of Cups here, I feel like it was abrupt. You could have possibly been ghosted by this person. But I feel that you've been missing them ever since the distance was here. And there's a reason why.
soulmate union. This is a past life connection. That's why it feels so familiar to you, Sagittarius. Ace of Cups twice. Like I said, I feel like it's divinely orchestrated. There will be a resolution here. This is not the last that you've heard from this person. And as I was shuffling this deck, Awakened popped out. Like I saw Awakened and I was drawn to that. I really feel like somebody is realizing how much they care for you. It's almost like you know, in separation, they go about their life, you know, they live life. And it's like you keep popping up in this person's mind. And, it, you know, how much do you ignore that? You know, oh, why do I keep thinking about this? Why do I keep hearing this song? Why do I keep seeing this movie that it was the one and only movie that we saw together? But every time I turn on the TV, it's there. There's a reason. These synchronicities are being placed there for a reason on both your parts. There is going to be a chance to bring this together and heal. Why is the Ace of Cups here twice, Spirit? Higher self, there's the awakening. There's a huge timeline shift here. Spirit, how are you helping? See, somebody here lacked confidence. Lack, lacked confidence on going further on, you know, and I do feel at some point you had to set boundaries, Sagittarius, but to cross watchers, take it how it resonates. Somebody here lacked the confidence of going forward. But that spark was placed. I really feel, you know, this person, this awakening. And this also could be for some of you, Sagittarius, that you try to control your feelings. But they are going to take that risk. I feel both of you are, actually. Sometimes a relationship just needs a break to grow, to heal, to come back stronger. You got to remember life does take over. Life does take place. So you go from like meeting someone, being all in, enjoying every, you want to take them to your favorite places. You want to experience all the favorite things of your, that you love in life with them and then, you know, then, then it balances out and then life takes over. Sometimes you just need that break for that clarity. Yeah, see, someone was doubting themselves. Someone had jealousy. Someone had these certain cracks in their soul that still needed to be healed. But good news, the higher self is activated through this growth. Rewriting the love story. This is a past love story, a past lifetime love story coming into this present, into this lifetime. That's amazing. I don't really get that card often when I use the stack. All right, spirit, final messages for my Sagittarians. And I love it. I'll show you what just popped out. Clarifying this past life union. Cosmic love. The two of you feeling connected even when you're not. And the reason is, when you close your eyes at night, you dream of one another. You connect in the 5D realm. Even though we are not together, we are connected through and through. When I sleep, I dream of you. When I'm awake, I think of you. I am able to feel you as if you are physically here. Spiritual number 514. Five, obviously spiritual practices like I said I really feel some inner growth inner healing 
um, healing the inner child, activating the higher self. I am healing myself through meditation and spiritual practices. It is the only way I can make myself whole. All right, Sagittarius. We have D, V, A, U, G, N, P, C, K, T, E, and then the rest are repeats. But we have a good amount here. So take what resonates, Sagittarius. Leave that heart emoji to take part in the giveaway for this month. Um, the link to my Etsy shop's in the description box. It is restocked. And I am running a Valentine's Day special on the love readings. And even though I've been down and out, I still am running through the current um, turnaround time. So you can head over there and check that out anytime you're interested. So much love and light.